All the Bay Area, this is ABC 7 News. A lab test of 10 California wines concludes that they all contain the active ingredient from weed killer, a chemical classified a probable carcinogen by the World Health Organization. Yeah, Dan Noyes is here with an ITM investigation that's really sending shockwaves through wine country, Dan. Oh, it is, Amon Dan. We know how important this issue is to so many people. So we traveled to St. Louis to see the lab that performed the tests, and we met the mom leading the charge against the chemical. Wines from the prime growing regions of Napa, Sonoma, and Mendocino counties were tested at Microbe Inotech Labs in St. Louis, Missouri. How many of those wines had glyphosate? All 10 did. All 10? All 10. Dr. Bruce Hemming and his team have been testing foods and beverages for glyphosate for years. Critics charge that these preliminary tests don't prove there's glyphosate in the wine. Dr. Hemming agrees more tests are needed, but stands by his results. How confident are you that there was glyphosate in these wines? Very confident uh, that the glyphosate is present. Glyphosate is the key ingredient in Roundup, the most popular weed killer in the world. In fact, I found this bottle in my own garden supplies at home. And it's a major tool at most vineyards. Roundup prevents the weeds from growing, and the weeds can choke out the growth of your vines. They can choke out your irrigation system. That's the whole battle. For decades, the U.S. EPA has considered Roundup and its active ingredient glyphosate safe to consume at low levels. But new research raises questions. Lab rats given minute amounts of glyphosate daily developed cancer and suffered damage to the liver and kidneys. Now a movement to ban the chemical has begun. The group behind the testing, a national coalition of mothers who call themselves Moms Across America. Glyphosate has been deemed a probable carcinogen by the World Health Organization, so we're concerned about any level being in our food at all. Working with Dr. Hemming's lab, they've also found glyphosate in breast milk, urine, and drinking water. Other groups have found it in eggs, oatmeal, bagels, bread, and even highly regulated German beer. The chemical is made by Monsanto. The company challenges the validity of Dr. Hemming's methods, but adds that even if there is glyphosate in California wine, it's far too little to hurt anyone. A person, say a 150 pound person, would have to drink around 8,000 regular, regularly sized bottles of wine in one day to meet the allowable daily intake um, for glyphosate. But we spoke to scientists who say their own independent research shows there are no safe levels for glyphosate and that Americans are getting way too much of it in their diet. Why am I worried? Because the science, including my research in my own laboratory, is showing that even these incredibly low levels of glyphosate could be a contributory factor to numerous serious illnesses, including cancer. Some wine growers say they want more scientific testing, but they're already considering changes. We've had candid conversations with one another and, and asked each other, is there a better way that we can do this? We don't want to be on the wrong side of history. The state of California has announced it wants to add the glyphosate to its list of known cancer-causing agents. Monsanto sued the state to block that move. I'll keep you posted on how this all plays out. Now, tomorrow at 6, meet a woman who shows wine growers how to get rid of the chemicals and embrace the weeds. It does work, apparently. Yeah, Fascinating. Thank you, Dan. Thank you.